MGTOWN doesn't mean weakness. It come up probably about three times now, and it's all women that mention this thing relating to MGTOWN, as if like, oh, guys, you just accept it. You know what? Um, I'm not going to swear, but quite simply, most women can go, go their own way. That's it. And that's the point. Nobody's asking the women to engage in this. In, in all honesty, when I discussed about um, women being able to discuss MGTOW, it's in the sense of them trying to understand it from a perspective of, say, a son or whatever that is going their own way. It's not about an engagement to decide whether it's right or wrong. Quite simply, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, men are going their own way. Is that, that's a personal decision for them to decide. It's not a discussion forum on it. It's quite simply, it's up to them. It's not a position of weakness. That's one of the fundamental things of this. It's recognizing that Western society is a complete mess and will continue to be, be so until we stop seeing people expecting the world to adapt to every, every whim um, on a regular basis that will contradict somebody else's thinking the following week and it just it's just a stupid mess um, until that happens then a lot of the engagement does not need to happen men going their own way is quite simply saying you can keep your garbage I mean I was listening to the BBC Radio 2 the other day and they were talking about Love Island and you're thinking I doubt that had that many people watching it why is it on the news it's on the news. It's trash. It's, it's just complete garbage television. In the same way, when people are obsessed with things like EastEnders and all the other tripe that's out there, um, I can completely understand why a lot of guys do not want to engage with women. And I would say that these types of shows are predominantly women that watch them because I don't know any guys that watch them at all. Um, because it's mundane and boring at best. Uh, at worst, it's, it's a brain drain of a fake world that often is very similar to people's real worlds, except obviously the, the murders and the incest and other weird stuff that goes on them, unless you're in some remote farming community, I suppose. <laughs> um, but the point being is, with MGTOW, it's recognizing that society's in a right mess. It's recognizing that you do not need to become a financial resource that is drained by state, drained by government, and drained by ex-spouses and partners. There is nothing that says a guy has to get married or into a relationship with somebody. And personally, I advise against it. For, for a lot of people, I'd advise against it. Because when you come out of that marriage, then you are in a position where you're likely to be a, a huge loss on that ongoing basis. It's not a case of, oh, we were married for three years and it didn't work out. Call it a day. No. You give me money, run up to pension fund, get into your pension as well. All the stuff you work for all your life, uh, somebody expects to get a payday out of it. Funny thing is, if you actually... YouTube women that have been caught out with the same thing. They don't agree that they should be giving money to their ex-husbands. Isn't it funny? It's the same thing. And that's the equality side of it. Equality shouldn't be that the relationship is based on 50K a, a year, say. And the guy earns 45K and the woman earns five, so it should end up with more money. No, it should be based on what they put in what is what they get out. That's it. This 50-50 stuff is complete nonsense. And I can understand why a lot of guys are going their own way because it has zero benefit to give up so much with very little in return. And I know uh, Benjamin mentioned about the relationship things because I know in MGTOW some of the guys wouldn't agree with people having uh, relationships with women. But my personal view is it's up to them. And I know Benjamin thinks the same, I assume. Um, because I know in the UK there's a lot of these benefit women um, that have boyfriends over three days a week. Well, a lot of MGTOW guys, three days a week is more than enough. Because quite simply they can protect themselves financially and everything else and still have a relationship. And you're thinking, well, why does the woman only have three days a week? It stops her benefits, you see.
If you look into the benefit system in the UK, you'll see there's a little bit in there about the number of nights you can have a guy stop over. Otherwise, it affects your affects their benefits. Um, so myself, I support MGTOW 100%, and uh, I have to say that it is about recognizing the risks in the, the environment we're in right now. And I do see, just with the HMRC stuff, how tight things are becoming. Because I think in the UK, it has got too much of a socialist spin on the government. Um, it can't pay its debts. And it's gone after, the last last two, three years, it's going after people that actually work for a living, contractors, etc. Um, and reshuffling all the tax system to squeeze more money out of them. At the same time, a lot of them are already near the wall anyway. That's why when Carillion collapsed, I know a lot of the guys I know retired. And you sit there and go, you know what, there's no point working. A lot of time, for me, that's why I only work three, four months of the year. There's no point doing more than that. Because quite simply, everybody's there like this. They all want a cut to your money. Um, so yeah, I'll cut this off here, but I strongly think that men going their way is correct. And I do think that Counselors should even support this. It would definitely help with um, cutting down on childbirths and stuff of underage and teen pregnancies and teenagers and um, under 25s having kids that shouldn't have them because if they recognize how much debt is given by having children and how they're locked in until the kids are old enough to take care of themselves, then they would understand that it's a big risk to do early on that will carry you into it up to your pension sometimes. <laughs> Thanks for watching.